Hey, welcome back to DIY Willie. I spent the morning working on the Samurai, getting that fuel pump off. A video coming on that soon. Um, I have lots of time left. I should work on something else. I've actually got the day off today, so I can't work on the Razor. I'm waiting on parts for the Razor. I need some more tubing. Um, I have the clutch adapter now, but I don't have the primary clutch. I'm still waiting on that. I could work on Max and Biggs the Briggs. But I'm waiting on parts for that too. What's left? Do I change the oil in something? Do I wash something? Do I clean something? Nah, it's too hot outside. What else can we do? Start a Briggs engine? Oh, you know what we ought to do? We should work on Mighty. We need to get Mighty going. Uh, there's a couple things that's missing. I've kind of scavenged some parts off of it here and there. We need to put some of those parts back and uh, maybe we can get it started and take it for a ride too, you know? The exhaust is down here, about where it's supposed to be. <laughs> no, not really. It should be up here somewhere. But I believe the gasket is there. Yeah, the gasket's there, but it doesn't have any hardware. I don't know where that hardware went. Um, the torque converter's loose. It's not tight on there. But I believe the juggernaut, oh, just cut me. I believe the juggernaut is tight, but we can check that bolt. Um, yeah, the exhaust. We'll find some nuts for that. Uh, we need to check the brake fluid because it has been leaking. Yeah, that. see that? See that? That's paint. It's coming off. That's been leaking around there. So we need to make sure that there's brake fluid in it. Uh, the tires are pretty low on air. The shock doesn't hold air, so we got to put air in the shock. Be nice to clean the carburetor, but you know that's that's no big deal. It'll probably start like it is. The whole engine is just filthy. There's no gas in it. Uh, probably put air in the front tire too. Yeah, let's work on Mighty. Let's see if we can't get it started. If we have a chance, we'll take it for a ride. If not, we'll just leave it here and we'll take it for a ride another day. But at least we get it started. Um, yeah, let's check out those things and uh, see if I can find some nuts for the exhaust. And we'll put that exhaust back on and, and uh, check out the carburetor, put some gas in it. You know, just do the little things like that, put air in the tires and we'll get her going. So I found the hardware. I took it off the Monster 212. Uh, I may have used that. I might have used this hardware for the Monster 212 anyway. I shouldn't have. I should have had lots of hardware for that. I got a couple of heads extra. I don't know. Anyway, I won't be riding that Monster 212 again for a while. If ever, the thing's a beast. But I'll put the hardware here to hold this up. I'm still missing the bolt that goes on this end. But that's no big deal. I can find that bolt later. Let's go ahead and stick this exhaust on here. Let's see if we can get old Mighty, Mighty started. Let's see. It's about time to change that gasket down there, but we'll do it next time. That's a 13 millimeter there. Wait a minute. I forgot how this works. Because that exhaust is so tight. Right there. There goes that. I'll probably never find that again. Such a tight band, I gotta lift it up to put the bolt on. Where'd that thing go? I gotta find that washer or that lock nut. Where did it go? There it is. Put it on like so. Da da da. Willie, Willie. Willie's working on Max. No, this is Mighty. I'm sorry. Willie's working on Mighty. Let me get a 13 millimeter out of here. Out of here. Here. 13 millimeter. We'll get this tight. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know how long it's been since I've ridden Mighty? It's been a while. Mine just sits back there collecting dust. This was the first bike I built, if you didn't know, on the channel. I added a swing arm, which is really looking ugly right now. I need to get it uh, sanded down and painted. It's really looking rusty. That chain is probably needing some oil, too. These are 10-inch wheels on Mighty. And uh, I forget what tires they are. But they're really good. I think I want to put some street tires on it, though. Never ride it off-road. Is that going to work? La, la, la. I built this swing arm on the channel too, if you're not familiar with this bike. And uh, man, does it work good. I don't want to say it, but I was kind of kind of the first guy to do it on the Mega Moto. Not that I'm bragging about it. Here we go. That's on there. Let me take this off and move that to the center. Yeah, looking good. Hope that's on there good. Uh, I need to get the big wrench out and just tighten that up. I'm just going to use a crescent wrench to tighten it up. That'll be fine. Got one right here. Tighten it up right now. Perfecto. There we go. I believe that's tight. That's a uh, seven sixteenths. What is that? What was that? I believe it's a seven sixteenths. No, I am wrong. It's a half. I am wrong. It's a half. Yep. Oh, I just poked the camera. Oh, it was loose too. Now I have a... Let me pull this up so it's tight. There we go. Now I have a... Uh, a stage one weight kit for that uh, juggernaut. I never put it in. I always wanted to. I should put it in. I guess it'll give it a different stall speed. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I just need that bolt right there. Then we could, you know, we could start it right now. We could try to give it a go. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. Okay, we got Mighty out, put some gas in it, um, got the exhaust bolted up again. Let's see if it'll start and uh, we'll see how many pulls it'll take to get it started. Oh, I also put air in the tires and the shock. Well, the shock didn't take much air, but it's kind of sagging. But that's okay, we can still try. Let's see if it'll start up. Looking good. Ah, come on, Mighty. Fabric has been dry for a while. I don't want a whiskey throttle it. <laughs> it's not going to want to start. My 
have to clean out that carburetor. What the heck with that June bug? Yep. Getting there. Gas is on. Let's see here. We may have to whiskey throttle in a little bit. Maybe money won't start. Not ready to go yet. I should just let her idle. It's not ready. Probably need to clean that carburetor out a little bit. One more try. Yeah, we need to take that carburetor off and clean it out. Just give it a once over. So mighty. Somebody doesn't want to run continuously. We'll check out the carburetor right now. And, uh, well, maybe later on. Maybe tomorrow. But, uh, I mean, there's no reason it shouldn't run. Everything's there. Everything's right. Just doesn't want to kick over and stay running. So we'll, we'll get this off and we'll get it apart. And clean the bowl out. Clean the jets out. And uh, just make sure it's ready to go. All right. I'll come back to you when I do that. All right. So I put Mighty back where he was so I can keep him here for now out of the way. And I happened to knock the air filter off when I did that. Um, oh, the light's dead. Anyway, I happened to knock the air filter off. I got to look inside that carburetor. Check it out. Can you see how dirty that carburetor is? That thing needs a major cleaning. I'm going to have to go through it and check it out. Get it all nice and cleaned out. It is pretty ugly inside. Yeah, it's it's bad. So we'll get in there. We'll get the carburetor off. We'll get it apart. Get it soaking in some, and some carb cleaner. And uh, I'll just generally get it all cleaned up and ready to go again. And then we'll get Mighty back to life. Uh, there's no reason it shouldn't except fuel. And that's probably the reason why we're not getting the right amount of fuel. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I get that done. All right.